Hi, my name is Theresa McKinnon. I'm Principal Teaching Fellow at the University of Warwick School for Modern Languages and Cultures. I'm an open educational practitioner and language teacher and co-chair of the Association for Learning Technologies Open Education Special Interest Group, uh, which you can see on the screen here. The uh, specific open education initiatives or ideas I find interesting um, I'm going to pair two together here. Um, one is around the open education communities of practice um, and within the Association for Learning Technology Open Education webinar we put forward an idea there based around guilds uh, and you can see the webinar actually on this on this page and more recently um, Alan Levine who uh, tweets as Cogdog uh, put forward a suggestion on his blog. He put a post called What If? And it was around suggesting the idea what if certification of Creative Commons were available? I think those two things together are actually very powerful. When educators want to become open educational practitioners, they have quite a tricky journey to navigate as they move increasingly their practice towards um, the use of digital uh, affordances and moving in digital spheres, creating the content, navigating the spaces and understanding the affordances of those spaces. Um, Familiarisation can be time consuming and language educators in particular encounter the national differences which exist in attitudes uh, and access in order to help um, their students bridge cultural and linguistic difference. So they find many, many barriers on the way, um, some of which I've written about in the past. Um, the focus on open educational resources and the availability of open educational resources and the use of Creative Commons has helped to an extent, but in fact what we really need are, are um, ways of connecting with other educators to learn from each other and ways of recognising the efforts that have been made uh, in that sort of professional development uh, that happens. Um, the power of connecting educators around their specific needs and their use cases within um, communities gives opportunities for professional development that haven't yet really been recognised or realised. Um, steps are needed to recognise the effort and the focus required to work effectively in a digital world, especially one that is changing so rapidly. Um, we need to help educators to create their online presence, to connect, to curate the resources that are out there and to learn from each other about the principles of uh, remixing and repurposing and uh, sustainability really it's a sustainability of teaching issue in my opinion so that's the area I'm particularly interested in in terms of uh, extending and connecting with people in the in the MENA region and the sort of uh, tips and recommendations uh, that I could offer I would say that since we've had um, uh, increasingly adoption of mobile devices and wider availability of Wi-Fi and we've seen some great things come out of uh, Google and the Android system for uh, devices and I know there are all sorts of uh, initiatives going on from uh, large providers in those sort of areas. What we could really do with now is um, capitalising on the expertise that is held particularly in languages um, in online intercultural exchange in understanding how computer mediated communication works, how we connect with each other and build trust within these networks. Um, we could help to uh, connect and follow uh, and engage a wider audience using social media, using webinars, both live and recorded, um, using video. And Creative Commons is actually a very important part of that discussion um, to help acknowledge contribution and to help um, value uh, the fact that actually in so doing we are supporting community and we're making a difference. I think there's much to be gained in terms of improving mutual understanding if we follow these sorts of approaches.